All right, all right, all right. So we have a very small tutorial today. And what we have here is a camera that is riding on top of a camera rig rail. And I want to use the look at track option of the camera. So let's look at how this works and how we can make it better. So we use it by enabling, and then we're going to select something that that camera should be following. And now if I jump into my camera cut, you can see that, yeah, I'm following that cube, right? Another thing that you might want to do sometimes is switch, you know, the actual objective to be followed, the actor to be followed. And you can do that, you know, at any point, let me create a key for the object to be tracked. And at some point I want to swap that for that one right there. And because I have auto key, uh, the key is going to be created just by that. And now if I look through the camera, you can see that I can follow that and then that one. But you know, it's like a camera cut, right? We don't have like an interpolation between the two objectives, but we have this look at tracking interpolation speed that it says that higher numbers for faster, tighter tracking. So that means that you must use a little bit of a high number, right? If you want the camera to keep tracking, you know, the objective, because if you are going too fast, then, you know, that thing is going to uh, stay behind, right? So if you use like a very large number for the thing to be actually on, on the center of the thing, then when you swap actors, then it's going to have, you know, that very fast interpolation. And that might not be what you want. You want something, you know, a lot easier to be controlled. So if you go a little bit lower, also, you're going to have that weird issue where the camera keeps moving, even though you're not moving your scrubber in the sequencer. So how to make this a thing? I'm going to remove uh, this key and I'm going to keep this camera, right? And I could also, you know, remove this key right here. And we're going to keep this camera uh, looking at that cube, right? So this is good. We have a camera that looks to that cube and that is good, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this camera. And I can, you know, simply come up here and hit Control D. And now I have another camera in the same place, right, as this one. And this second camera, uh, I need to add it, that second camera, to my sequencer right here. And now that second camera is going to have another actor to be tracked, right? So let me jump out of this camera. So this Cine Camera Actor 2, let me make this a little bit more clear. You should be up there. So camera 1 is in this cube. Camera 2 is going to be in that cube, right? So let's swap these to be there. And now um, if we look through this camera, it's going to go, you know, the full way looking at the pair of cubes. And I, if I look through this camera, it's going to be the whole way looking at the single cube, right? So how to fix this? How we can do that smooth, you know, transition with a very controlled way. So we're going to split the Cine Camera Actor track. So right here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit split section and now i have two tracks and both have the same camera actor assigned to it so what you can do is you know on this second one i'm going to assign the cine camera actor to and now if i look through the actual cut this is what we get you know exactly what we had before right but now comes the magic if you go to your camera cut and you right click on it if you go to the top there is this can blend and usually it's going to be off, right? So you know you can turn it on. What you can do now is you can overlap both camera cuts. And what is going to happen is that Unreal is going to do a blending from one camera cut to the other. Let's see how this looks. I'm looking at this one and then I can look at the other one. And now you have a very, very exact way of doing that swapping. And this is what we want. We want that smooth motion, right, between one and the other one. And you can control, you know, when that thing is going to happen. So if you want it to be a little bit earlier, so you do it earlier. And yeah, this is what you, what you do. So instead of using the interpolation speed here, that is very, very weird, you simply use the uh, cam blend option on your camera cut, right? And that's it. You can do like a 1C type of camera, even with, you know, separate cameras. So 
enjoy. Well, as usual, take care, love you all, and I see you on the next one. Bye.